lot of talk obviously on social media, people reading and hearing about this terrible weather down in Mississippi and the tornadoes we alluded to earlier. What can you tell us about what's happening there tonight? Oh, good and bad. We've had 13 tornado reports, including one big one that looks yeah. like it ripped through Hattiesburg, which is a city populated about 50,000 people. Uh, looks like it moved through the northern part of the town. Haven't heard any fatality reports, which is good news, but you can see here on Storm Track Live that the tornado warnings have all been allowed to expire. But, you know, Larry, we and I were looking at some of the pictures. In fact, yeah. we'll see some in just a second. We're talking about a big tornado. So yeah. once the sun rises tomorrow and we get a good look at the damage, I'm sure it's going to be pretty substantial. Yeah, not good news at all. We're monitoring that damage, what we can tonight down in Mississippi. We've just learned that at least 10 people were hurt in Forest County and three people have been hurt in Marion County. So far, no deaths have been reported because of those tornadoes and the bad weather down there. 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen is live at the newsroom with more on that. Tom? Larry, that bad weather down south is not over yet. It's expected to continue for at least two more days. Here's some video that was posted on YouTube tonight. The man who posted this video works at a hotel in Hattiesburg and took the video while at work today. Officials say there is major damage in Hattiesburg and also to the northeast in Petal, including on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi. Campus police have declared a state of emergency and have asked anyone not on campus to stay away. Nasty weather has settled in on much of Louisiana and Mississippi, including tornado or flash flood watches. The National Weather Service says bad weather is likely to stretch into Fat Tuesday in southeast Louisiana. Now, we'll be keeping a close eye on the situation down south, monitoring that, and we'll have any updates for you on these tornadoes tomorrow morning on Daybreak, starting at 4.30. At the Live Desk, Tom Hill in 24-Hour News 8.